The Swedish Chechen fighter Kamsa Chimaev has long become the main hype machine of Dana White. Boar's latest fight was awaited with great impatience, for the first time he met with such a powerful opponent as Gilbert Burns. The Brazilian veteran gave Chimaev a great fight that delighted Dana White himself. Despite two knockdowns, the Chechen Swede won by decision. So, the question now is, who should he fight next? It seems that there is only one main option. A championship fight with Kamaru Usman, Boris firmly settled the wave of love from fans, in whose eyes he had long deserved a chance for the title. In addition, he defeated not anyone but Gilbert Burns himself, who is a number two in the UFC World Weight rankings. And Jemayev himself is now unlikely to want to fight someone who does not have a championship belt. But Dana White probably has other plans. And I will tell you about it now. What's going on at welterweight? You guys ever think about that? I mean, this division is wildly unclear right now. All the talk that Colby was going to go fight Jemayev, that went absolutely nowhere. I was very quick to tell you guys, I don't think that's done. I'll go as far as to speculate that I don't think that Kobe's even been contacted about it, but now it does appear that it's pretty clear that isn't going to happen. Well, what is our evidence for that? Our evidence that it was supposed to be Chemayev's next fight, and then we knew the rumor that came out seven days ago from the war room in the UFC that Chemayev was being looked at to go against Nate Diaz. Now that all went to hell in a handbasket. Speaking of 170, that gets replaced with the Volkanovski Max fight. Okay, no problem. But what is next for Chamaya? I just don't, I have no idea what's going on. A lot of questions. It's, it, it, it really is very confusing. Chamaya and Nate was the rumor seven days ago, confirmed by Dana over the weekend that yes, that's very much a match that we are looking for. That goes away. That goes away to the point that his placement on the card versus the co event is now solidified with Max Vol uh, Ver versus Volkanovski. Nate Diaz gets into a back and forth with Chandler that many people thought had legs to it. Chandler then comes out that he's got an injury report. It was something with his shin and won't be making that date. And all of a sudden, Nate and Chemayev have now refound each other on social media and agreed to do a match. I'm lost. Arranging a title fight with Boris is very easy, but there is a very big risk involved. If the Chechen Swede lose to the invincible Usman, the hype around the name of Chimaev will noticeably subside. But Dana White won't allow it. Moreover, let's be honest, because Kamzat has revealed weaknesses, in particular, he needs to work hard on defense in order not to be knocked out by the champion. I wouldn't want to see it. So, who should White choose if he does not dare to risk Kamzat? There are many contenders for a potential fight. Leon Edwards, George Masvidal, Bilal Muhammad. Anyone would consider it a pleasure to fight Jimayev, given how much money is at stake. But the best option would be duel between Kamzat and Colby Covington. And both from a sporting and financial point of view. By the way, White has not yet confirmed the idea of fighting between Jimayev and Colby. Although there is a simply no better fight. And the fans most want to see this fight. Covington's trash talk will help to collect huge PPV. In addition, the Swede and the American have long hated each other, which will only add color to the confrontation. From a sports point of view, everything also looks the best, because Colby is the first in the ranking after Usman. And if it happens, then in a few months we will have a great fight. Darren Till, best friend of Chimaev, gave a prediction for the fight between Chimaev and Covington. A friend and sparring partner of Kamsa Chimaev, Darren Till, shared his opinion about a potential candidate fight between Chechen fighter and American Colby Covington, who plans to organize the UFC management. I'd love to see Kamsa take on Colby in the main event of the evening of five rounds, and I think that's the best option for both guys, the Britain told Submission Radio. I think that Kamsa will be able to knock him out. I don't think Colby has ever faced such power. Obviously, Colby is a good fighter, but who did he fight from those who are now at the top? Only Usman, no one else. Kamzat is a very powerful and have an advantage over him. Colby is an amazing fighter, phenomenal one, might even say. But I see Hazmat win and I would love to watch this fight as a setup for a first with Usman, said Darren Till. But let's not forget about Nate Diaz. 
informed sources close to the situation report that Kamza Jumaev and Nate Diaz will fight in the welterweight division on August 20th at the UFC 278 tournament, the venue which is still unknown. But both fighters have already given verbal consent to a five-round fight, which will be the second in importance by the event of a number event. Let's fight skinny! Chimaek tweeted at Nate Diaz shortly after the news broke. Previously, information about the fight was revealed by the UFC president Dana White, who highlighted fights in development in an interview from an organization headquarters. To be honest, it is hard to believe that such a mega corporation as the UFC made such a ridiculous mistake. This is a despite the fact that the main commentator of the promotion, Joe Rogan, spoke many times about a league's pedantic approach in cooperation with the media. That is, roughly speaking, they sign and control every step, and hang possible fights behind the back of the president, which, allegedly, they did not want to advertise. However, if this is a planned action, my respect to whoever came up with it. The next day, Chimaev already reacted to this news by challenging Nate to a fight. Having been refused, Kamza trolled Diaz on a social network. Chimaev tweeted shortly after the news broke. You are a fake gangster. I don't care who I go up against. I have come for each of you. Where have all these gangsters and kings gone? The promotion is obligated to support Jumaya's hype, but welterweight, to put it mildly, is not rich in big names. In any case, Colby will ask for a huge fee and delay the risk fight. Talk about a duel between Kamzat and Usman is not raised even by White. Kamzat Chimaev is one of the prime candidates for the UFC biggest media star to replace the fading Conor McGregor. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our second channel, where we also post interesting videos about the MMA world. And also like and subscribe if you enjoy this video as it helps this channel grow.